Hey there, this is Alana Taki again, and I wanted to show you one more basic function feature of your calculator that is really nice. So let's suppose you want to find out what, oh, I don't know, 7 divided by 8 is. And it tells you the decimal, it's 0 0.875. Well, that's all well and good, but suppose I wanted 7 divided by 21. Oops, it gives me that, 0.33333. Now we all know what that is, I know, but I'm just trying to show you some basic examples here. So what I can do is I can press math number one. That'll say convert to fraction. So it's going to take my last answer, 0.33333, and change it, that's what the little triangle means, to a fraction. So let me press enter. There we go. It's a third. Isn't that great? So let me show you again. What if I had, oh, I don't know, six divided by 54 and I wanted that in a simple fraction. You don't even have to press enter. You can just go right away to math and choose number 1 and it'll convert 6 over 54 to a fraction. So when you press enter, boom, automatically there's the reduced fraction for you. Isn't that great? That's a great feature. Don't forget about the ANS feature. That'll take your last answer and do whatever you want to it. So let me subtract 3, enter. Oh, it made a decimal again. That's okay. Press math, number 1, enter, and it turns it into a fraction for you. Awesome. Now one other thing to note, there's a little bit of an issue with the rewrite feature. The fact that the calculator kind of overwrites everything you want to do. Suppose I wanted this, but I go, oops, I didn't mean it to be 6, I meant it to be 16. How do I change that? Well, you can go back over here to the left. Now, if you just type 1, it's going to start overwriting what you already had. Now, there's a way to get around that. It's right here, above your delete key. It's INS, insert, second, insert, and now I can type 16, and then when I press enter, there we go. So the insert feature gets you around the whole overwrite feature. The calculator overwrites things by default, and the INS is a way to get around that. One last thing, if you want to get rid of all this, you say, oh, look, this is such a mess. I don't want to see all this anymore. You can just press clear, and the whole thing will go away. There we go. That's the end of some of the more tricky features in the calculator. I'll see you right here for the next tutorial.